It's Tuesday, January 27th, and here's some of the news beyond the headlines. Russian forces have raided the headquarters of an independent television channel run by the Crimean Tatar minority. Early on Monday morning, Russian law enforcement officials entered the offices of ATR in the city of Simferopol. They seized equipment, including servers of archival footage, showing a February 2014 demonstration against Russia's annexation of Crimea, which the Muslim minority group has vehemently denounced. Activists and rights groups say members of the Tatar community have faced discrimination, intimidation and torture for their opposition to the Kremlin's expansionist plans. An Egyptian doctor has been convicted of the manslaughter of a girl who died in 2013 following a botched female genital mutilation procedure. Last November, Dr. Raslan Fadl was cleared of charges relating to the death of 13-year-old Suher el Beta. Prosecutors appealed the verdict, and on Monday, a court in the Nile Delta city of Mansoura sentenced him to more than two years in prison. His clinic was also ordered to shut down for a year. The country banned FGM in 2008, but the practice is still widely performed. The United Kingdom has launched a public inquiry into the 2006 poisoning death of a Russian spy turned Kremlin critic. Alexander Litvinenko died of radiation poisoning three weeks after drinking tea with two Russian men at a London hotel. From his deathbed, he accused Russian President Vladimir Putin of ordering his murder. That's a charge Moscow has always denied. The lawyer representing Litvinenko's family has disclosed that the 43-year-old had worked for MI6 for several years and that he investigated Russian mafia activities for the Spanish security services. The judge leading the inquiry says the aim is to determine, once and for all, if Russia is to blame for his death. Four, three, two, one. Lift off of the space A group of water fleas is headed to the International Space Station. This type of tiny crustacean is known as Daphnia. For one month, scientists of the University of Birmingham will monitor the creatures daily for signs of stress. Biologists often use Daphnia as a model organism for biomedical research. By analyzing their breeding and swimming patterns, the team hopes to learn more about how humans might react under the same conditions. The experiment is the brainchild of young students in Wales who won a contest run by the International Space School Education Trust and Mission Discovery. Check out the Vice News YouTube channel for more original reporting and documentaries from around the world. Tu n'as rien, mais le militaire marocain il vient, il prend le bois, il, il frappe, il te frappe. Et hey, tu ne vas plus revenir ici Non, je ne vais plus revenir, mais il te frappe le pied, mais il prend le pied, il tasse. Tu vois, c'est pas bon là, de là, là c'est un milliard qui est là.